They're looking for your nipples. Oh, Mooney, they think you could be their mommy. <laughs> Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm starting out in the puppy pen. The puppies are already awake, they're already fed. Moon is actually here. I'm gonna introduce them to Moon today just because I can tell that they're really craving some parental, I don't know, interaction. Obviously they don't have a mother so I think they're really missing that part of being a puppy and it's just like stuff that I can't provide them. I'm gonna let them out and just have Moon be Uncle Mooney for the day. Now, I really want Coco to actually meet them. She's been dying to meet them, but she's still recovering. So eventually she'll get to meet them. But until she's healed up from her surgery of getting fixed, it's going to be Uncle Mooney. So let's let them out and have them meet. You guys want to meet Uncle Mooney already? Let's do this. Let's do this. Moon's been dying to meet them. All right, come, come meet him. Teach him, Mooney. Teach him how to be puppies. I know. They love you. They love Mooney. Oh my god, it's Mini Moon. Moon and Mini Moon. Yeah, Uncle Mooney gives them love. Oh, they're looking for your nipples. <laughs> oh, Mooney, they think you could be their mommy. Oh, they're looking for nips. Okay, but this is good. This is teaching them. This is something that they wouldn't get otherwise. Good boy, Mooney. Yeah, your babies are free. Yeah. Look at them crouching, it's so funny. They get low to the ground. Yeah, are you guys learning some lessons right now? Money's the best teacher. Oh. I know, baby girl, you wanna meet your, um, you wanna meet these babies so bad, I know it. I know, you need a heal. I know. Oh, kisses from Money. Yes. No, Coco. Coco, I know. She wants to see them so bad. Just a couple more days, Coco, I promise. Oh, Mini Mooney loves Uncle Wolfie. He loves him. I know. Gentle, Mooney, gentle. He loves Uncle Wolf Mooney. You're a vocal one. You got some poop on your leg, too. Hello. You poopy. Baby poopy. Come here. I know you're so mean. I know you want to meet these babies so much. But you still have the cone on it and your scar's still healing. Yeah. She's a good girl. And you are so good. You taught them so many lessons, Mooney. You're such a good teacher. We love Mr. Moon. He's so handsome. These puppies think I'm their mother. <laughs> you puppies keep following me. Okay, we're going this way now. This way. Follow me. Come on. This is so adorable. <laughs> You're so cute. Aren't you so cute? Mooney, this is your little mini you. He's you, but little. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kisses. So I'll leave like Moon out here with them and he'll just sit right by their playpen and just like wants to protect them. And it's so hard to get Moon to come back inside because he just loves them. He loved you. Thank you for the kisses. That's so gentle. No bites. No. We give love. Hi. Hi, Mini Mooney. Oh, belly rubs. Belly rubs for the Mini Mooney. Oh, thank you. That's my beard. That's so sweet. Ow. Mooney, you love these babies. Money, slow down. 
<laughs> oh, that scares the male run over to me when he does that. When you get scary to them, you're humongous. I just started making this noise and it freaks them out. <laughs> They're like, what's that? <laughs> I don't know why they do that. Why do they freak out? Ow, ow, you're gonna pierce my ear. Ah, <laughs> oh, get out of there. Ow. <laughs> That's as big as you! That's as big as you! That's the animals as big as you! Oh, they're fighting! The girls are fighting! Get it from him! <laughs> this is so funny, it's literally just this big. He looks so proud about it too. Hey! That's too big! <laughs> I just want to show you guys how much Mooney loves them. He literally just has to sit outside with them. He's guarding them. I look over here and she's like blindfolded herself and gagged herself. What in the BDSM is going on over here, ma'am? Hello, what's your safe word? <laughs> Hi, what were you doing, silly? So I never showed you guys the crystals I got from my Tucson adventure. So I wanna show my crystals. They're so pretty. Okay, so I don't know the names of all of them. So I can't really tell you what they all are, but I'm just here to show you the beauty that is these crystals. Isn't this so crazy that these just form in our earth? Like they're all so unique and beautiful. Like what the heck? So here they all are. This is my collection from Tucson Gem Show. I think my favorite. Uh, it's so hard to pick a favorite, but I love this one. I love all like teal crystals like aquamarine or celestite. I also love this. It feels very fantasy-esque. It's a lamp that has a crystal on it. It's a citrine. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And this is really cool too. It feels like it, it's a portal to another dimension of something. And uh, this pink one. I think it's like some sort of fluorite, perhaps. Stunning. They're all beautiful. I love you all. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I have some very exciting news for the next video that I'm about to go do right now. So I have to end it so we can start the next vlog. Subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good and bye.